Well, did you know that long before Virinder Sehwag, there was one Indian opener who could score at the rate of two runs per ball? And long before Mahinder Singh Dhoni, there was an Indian wicketkeeper whose hairstyle and whose dashing methods became the rage all over India. And if you're still guessing who are the people I'm talking about, these two were actually the same person, Farooq Engineer, my guest for today. Shekhar, it's been always, always a pleasure to be with the best journalist in India. Oh, thank you very yeah, much, Farooq. But uh, yeah. the thing with journalists is you can say it to a hundred because there are no facts or figures no, no. Or, or, or record book to speak no, of. No, but I read. I read and you can tell the people who are knowledgeable and who are not. Really. Thank you very much, Farooq. Yeah. And uh, I gave that long introduction because, you know, people sometimes think there was no history before Google. <laughs> there was history before Google. Yes. But surprisingly, Shekhar, a lot of the youngsters, you know, I'm staying in Delhi Jumkhana, and a lot, lot of the youngsters come, and, and autographs, photographs, and all that. Okay, they see me on NDTV and all that. But they know about my records and about playing. You got a century in 46 balls, uncle, is it right? You know, youngsters, so they must it, be reading. It was a century in 46 like balls those days. Yes, indeed. Yeah. And, which is supposed to be a really an all-time record. 1967. You know? Yes, indeed. That far back. And it wasn't against a file to attack. Wesley Hall, Charlie Griffith. Gary Sobers. Gary Sobers, Lance Gibbs. Lance Gibbs, though, he, I was 94 before lunch. Right. And <clears throat> Dilip Sardesa was my, my uh, partner. Uh, opening partner, yeah. You know, when I was at 92, I had hooked Wes Hall. And Rohan Khanna, a deep square leg, dived and stopped. We could have easily taken two runs, but Dilip chose to take one run. So I'm not at all ostracizing Dilip for that. Well, those and days, the last, nobody, no, nobody turned one into two. Yeah, or, la, la, or yeah but, but, but clear, you know, midfield right. in the bound, yeah, on the right. boundary line. Last over, first ball, Charlie Griffith. You know, Dilip blocked the five, five balls. Uh, extra cover drive, Clive Lloyd, full length he dives, hits his palm again, goes. You could have easily taken two, but we took one. But anyway, that, that was 94. Right. And everyone telling me at lunchtime, I think only Don Bradman and Charlie McCartney have got a god century before lunch. Surely, <coughs> I think God is great. He knew that I didn't deserve to be bracketed with those great people. So first of all, after lunch, an off-spinner comes by the name of Lance Gibbs. Just, 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 and, just a little known off-spinner. And I just, <laughs> I just thought it's either him or me. He went straight out of the stadium. I think the ball cleared the whole of the Chepok and it's still traveling. They never found the ball. You know, so you just <laughs> waited for lunch to be over and got your 100. Yeah, a bit you of dhansak for a Parsi. You know, no. you know, <laughs> you know uh, what yeah. the West Indians said those days, the crowds? Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. If Gibbs can't get you, Sobers must. Yes, indeed. And, and that is after Hall and Griffith, Griffith were sure. done with, done These with you. These guys were quick. Yes. They were seriously quick. Seriously People quick. talk about and they were wild. Andy Roberts, wild. They were wild. Charlie Griffith and Roy Gilchrist right. clearly said that, you know, we like this to see blood on batsmen's faces. Right. You know, and we never had any helmets or chest, chest pads guards or, or thigh guards. Or a pink plastic box. Right. Hardly any 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 sort of you know that, that, oh, that, that is no protection at all. Because if it hits the plastic box, the plastic box breaks and I think the rest of you is in serious trouble as well. Right. And and, and yeah. to face these guys uh, yeah. on wickets that were not covered. No, no, no uncovered days. pitches, absolutely. Right. Where the ball could just rear. Right. And they bowled well over hundred miles per hour. Yeah where no records were made of, you know, there was nothing right. to time the speed. So would you say they were faster than the fast bowlers oh, yeah. today? Oh yeah, oh yeah, much, but this is what the modern generation doesn't realize. They think, oh, he's clocked 84 miles an hour, 85 miles an hour, 90 miles an hour, he must be really fast. Those guys were well over 100 and there was no limit of bouncers. Right. No, abhi toh limit hai, one bouncer over or something. Right. There was no limit of bouncers or beamers. Right. And we didn't have anyone to give it back to them. Right. And so they were absolutely, they had a well, license. Are, um, one of your rivals from your times, wicket-keeping rivals, actually also opened the attack for India. Would they? Would they? <laughs> in no. a match where, no. you, where, where you kept the wickets. You know, how many people in Delhi remember that? Right. And I think we both got a hundred right. partnership in about 20 balls or something right. like that. Both, both of you were hitting a great everything. character, yes. a great yes. guy. You were the only and two I was with him. Only, only two Indians yeah. who hooked the fast ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I took it right in the sights and hooked it. Right. In fact, I thrived on that. Right. I hated slow outswingers or slow, you know, those guys got me out easily. But the quicker the game, the quicker they went. Because, you know, and I loved opening the innings because there were big gaps in the field, you know. 
all the fielders were behind. So was there fear of fast bowling without helmets? No. If you if you're afraid of facing fast bowling, then you're in the wrong profession. Going go, better go and work in a bank or something. Hmm. Not not that you know bankers have count, count their money also. But I mean it's a different profession altogether. Hmm. You don't you never even <coughs> thought about getting hit, especially in West Indies when Nari Contractor was hit. Yes. And I was there and I saw blood trickling out yeah, of his that, ears. That was a debut series, 1961. Absolutely, yeah. 